I'm Cynthia Payne, and I live in Chesapeake, Virginia. My name is Eva Cohen. I'm a wife and mother, and um, I stay at home and take care of my two girls. I became a professional storyteller over 15 years ago. I'm a survivor of oral cancer. I found a sore on the underside of my tongue and I went to my dentist. And it didn't heal. Typically you think these things just go away. And he said that it should have healed within two weeks. Uh, the site itself was a small white lesion, uh, nothing uh, out of the ordinary, but it looked just different enough that I wasn't comfortable just letting it go. So I decided to do a brush biopsy, send it off, uh, it came back with some atypical epithelial cells. Uh, at that point, I referred her to an oral surgeon for a scalpel biopsy. And that came back cancerous. The typical profile for oral cancer was an adult male over 40 who smoked and drank. Here I am. I was 31 years old. I didn't smoke. I didn't drink. Because I don't smoke, there was no reason for me to have cancer. Nowadays, you're seeing the atypical ones, uh, the females and the young adults. And the point is, is if it can happen to me, it can happen to anybody. I'll never forget the day I was handed the news. It was probably the worst day of my life. So I called my twin sister, and of course she started crying. She was just very scared for me. It was devastating. We really weren't sure if I was going to live, live to see the next five years. We didn't tell my girls um, until a few days before surgery. I told my children that I was very sick and that hopefully I'll get better. They were very scared. Um, just nothing like this has happened in our family. My daughter didn't touch me for two years because I really believed that she was afraid of losing me. It was very traumatic for them. I needed to have a third of my tongue reconstructed and a radical neck dissection. I didn't know if I'd ever speak articulately. I didn't know whether I'd look disfigured in any way. Cancer is a very aggressive uh, it will eat into the bone, you'll lose part of your face. He said yes, we would have to do uh, surgery to remove it, and he said that he would remove uh, around the sore area. He did not expect the cancer to be as large as it was. He took out a lot of the underside of my tongue. My tongue was reconstructed, and they took the skin from my forearm, they took an artery, to feed blood to the graft. I couldn't even look at my arm. It, 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 it was so difficult for me to even look at and accept that this is now a part of my body. Then they did a neck dissection where they removed all the lymph nodes. My neck was swollen. The scar was red for a couple of years. It's much better than when I first um, was able to start talking. I talked without moving my tongue at all. At this point, everything is perfect. Uh, the cancer was removed by the ENT. I'm so grateful that it could have been so much worse. I'm just grateful that I'm here.